once more entreated to our program you are welcome back we're going to talk a little bit about dreams I have this testimony for you two little girls one of about um, 16 years another 12 in the presence of the uh, the congregants in in the church of which I am the leader one of them said that that he, I have a problem and I said what is your problem she said she's been going through nightmares and what is a nightmare evil dreams and when I asked this little girl what do you usually experience in your dreams she told me that she will find a group of people running after her to kill her some of them will come with clubs some of them will come with knives and sticks in order to strike her dead and I asked her is it frequent she said yes is it recurrent she said yes does it happen time and again she said yes I said okay now the Lord Almighty is going to set you free from it and this is a matter of two Sundays ago and I ministered the water of the Lord on her body and stretched my hand over her she lost consciousness and she was found falling my usher helped her down to the ground and she fell on the floor and she lost consciousness now she lasted on the floor for 30 minutes even the music that was playing in the church she would not hear any sound and people tried to hold her up she would not stand up I asked them to allow her to sleep and she slept very deep now the church closed she was still sleeping because I told them that she's going to wake and tell us what she has seen in the spirit realm in a vision that she will see within the space of 30 minutes and just truly the church closed she will not wake up a little boy and I sat in the church all others had gone and we're waiting for the little girl to rise and the time came that the Lord told me her mission is finished call her to rise and I said by the power of the Holy Spirit rise from where you are lying down or sleeping from the floor and yours truly instantly that girl rose from her sleep and nobody helped her up and she walked to me where I was sitting in the church and she sat between me and the young boy called Joel and as she was still in the situation of remembering the, the, the vision I asked her the duration that you spent on the floor you were surely seeing certain things now tell us what actually you were seeing and the little girl whispered she said in the dream that I was on the floor I saw evil spirits chasing me to kill me but an angel of the Lord descended from heaven that fought the battle for me dismissed or destroyed them and sent them away and I was free and fought with immediately the angel took me to heaven and when the angel took me to heaven I found myself before Jesus and Jesus spoke to me and we conversed with Jesus and Jesus told me Laura you shall be a great woman in future is a 12 year old girl that the Lord spoke to and she's been helping me to 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 preach in the church I mean a 12 year old girl the Lord told her as she was telling us that the Lord spoke to her that even if she will not come to church she should keep the Sabbath day holy to read the Bible 
and to keep the Sabbath day holy. Hallelujah. And when I read back in the book of Genesis, the Sabbath day was made holy, God rested, and it blessed the Sabbath day. Which means that the Sabbath day is a day of holiness. It's a day of sanctity. It's a day that God has blessed. And it's a day of rest. But contrary is what we have today. The Sabbath day is the day that we fornicate. The Sabbath day is the day that we do adultery. The Sabbath day is, <laughs> is the day that we, we insult one another. The Sabbath day is the day that we worship idols. The Sabbath day is the day that we do all sorts of evil things. But hear what the Lord told this girl. You shall be a great woman in the near future when you shall be a big girl. And that is when now the little girl heard me calling by the power of the Holy Spirit, rise up from your sleep, and she stopped seeing the vision, and she came back again, and she told us these things. And after that, I told her to write what she saw, and she wrote it and gave it to me. On Sunday last week, she read it before the congregation, and it was so amazing, and that everybody was very, very happy in the church. Now, what does this mean? God speaks to us through dreams. So many of you, you dream, you don't even know the importance of your dreams. And that is how you perish. Because you don't value your dreams. You need to value your dreams. They are very, very important. You can see how Joseph became a king in Egypt. And it is through dreams God made him know that he will become a great man. And you can see that. So if Joseph had not dreamt, then he wouldn't have known his future. And the parents wouldn't have known. And the brothers also wouldn't have known. And Israel's mission wouldn't have been accomplished in Egypt. You can see that. That is why today I want to exhort you that if you have evil dreams, come to the prophet that God has given to you to pray with you and that you will be able to be freed from these nightmares. Some of you have terrible dreams when there is a breakthrough which is about to come your way. Something happens in your dreamland. And the thing just disappears like that. And since you do not know that what you saw in the dream is going to act contrary to what you are expecting or to, to your expectations, you just simply say, ah, that one I'm in a dream, that's something that. And then somebody promised you a car. Somebody promised you millions and blessings. And yet the thing fails to come. And you would not know that it is in the dream that the evil one stole the blessings. Sometimes I dreamt that somebody took my money by magical power. <laughs> you know what I did? <laughs> I, 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 I prayed and I invited a host of angels to go and empty their coffers. <laughs> uh, angels came and they emptied the evil spirit coffers and give the money to me <laughs> in the spirit realm. So if they, if they took from me 10,000, I took from them 100,000 in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. So you have to be very careful with your dreams. You see, it is through dreams that evil spirits manipulate. It is through dreams that despoil your visions, your future, what you have to do. I want to exhort you today never to joke with your dreams, oh dear children of God. If you have a dream, write it down. If you have a vision, write it down. Many good things that God wants to show you, He cannot speak to you in the broad daylight, but He wants to speak to you when your body is at rest and your spirit comes to play, to, 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 to have contact with Him, so He can speak with you as this little girl, Laura. The Lord spoke to her, but through this dream that she dreamed, within a space of 30 minutes, and the Lord communicated with her about her future and how Sabbath should be handled. 
I hope you've been blessed. And the other one, Elise, also had the similar visions. And I prayed for her also. She too was free from those bad dreams, those nightmares. You see, people give you sicknesses through dreams, but you don't know. People involve you into secret calls through dreams, but you don't know. You, you walk, we walk like sheep. Huh? So I'm exhorting you to, to desist from this negligence. You neglect your dreams and it is too bad for you. Hallelujah. Never you neglect your dreams. Never you neglect them. No matter the, 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 the duration of the fact that you've been suffering from these evil dreams, I tell you for the truth, the Lord has given me the power to cut that evil chain. Sometimes a person may give you food during the day and it comes to the dream to sit by you. You don't know what the person is looking for, you, for, 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 for from you. you. You may not know. When the person who is a witch or a wizard gives you food during the day, he comes at night to tell you that you have established a relationship with him or her. And that relationship is just to destroy your future, to steal your blessings, to deviate the good things which are coming to you onto her own camp or to his own camp. So you become poor and he becomes richer or she becomes richer than you. Dear children of God, I'm telling you these things by experience. And also they are biblical. You are yourself, you are read it in the Bible. So you need not to joke with your dreams, please. Hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. This time around, we are for miracle time. And we have just 15 minutes for miracle time. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm working today on epileptic patients. Your epilepsy has lasted 10 years. Your epilepsy has lasted 20 years. And it has refused to go. This morning, the Lord put in my spirit to command that epilepsy out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of epilepsy, get out of that body right now. You who are epileptic, say amen, I am healed. No matter the duration of that epileptic, epileptic spirit in you, the Lord Jesus do not, does not bother about the duration. He simply bothers about the fact that he created you and his temple is in you. Therefore, he commands that spirit to go out of you right now. I don't need to shout. I don't need to scream. I simply tell you, abandon that body, you spirit of epilepsy, now. Depart from that body, you spirit of epilepsy, now. Spirit of convulsions, I ask you to depart now. Because it is frequent convulsions that result into epilepsy. So take note of that. You mothers, you parents, if there is a recurrence of um, convulsions in your daughter, your son, who is a little baby, it will soon transform into epilepsy. So take note. And this thing comes through uh, vein fevers, the fevers that work by within the veins of the children. Now, the child's body, you may never experience that it is hot. The child's body will remain fresh. Hmm? But the fever is eating within the child. And therefore, it is a type of malaria which is, that works within the veins and the arteries of the baby. So what you need to do is that the doctor will have to intervene 
and give a great deal of treatment onto this baby to purge out those uh, vectors of uh, paludisma from the baby. And when this thing stops, it is once and for all. There are other, other means by which the baby could be treated, which are uh, herbal. There are herbs that can be used to purge out that evil spirit. And the baby will be well forever. That epilepsy or that convulsion will never come. And therefore, right now, if the doctor has tried his part and it didn't work, the herbs that you used didn't work, now here is the final doctor, Dr. Jesus. He says, out onto that epileptic spirit from within your baby in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out. You have nothing to alter. You simply have to go. And I command you that as you are going, return to the bottomless pit. In the name of Jesus Christ, enter any grave and return to the bottomless pit. Enter the sea, enter the lake, enter the ocean and return to the bottomless pit. Because all these areas have a connection with the epicenter of the earth where the bottomless pit is found. So return to your home. Return to where God assigned you to be. Go back. And if you do argue with me, I call on Archangel Azaz, uh, Azariel to arrest you, chain you up, and throw you into the bottomless pit. Archangel of God, I call upon you. Chain all the evil spirits that are belonging to this sickness called epilepsy, convulsions. Chain all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. I summon you, archangels of God. Chain them all. Wherever you are, the demons are chained and kept into the bottomless pit. I command a myriad of angels, go visiting the homes, run about the world right now. As per the command of the Lord Jesus, who speaks through me right now, do arrestations and plunge these evil spirits back into the bottomless pit. By command of the Lord Jesus, by command of the Lord Jesus, O archangels of God, O angels of war, do this right now. Do this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, do this right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, do this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, do this right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, archangels of God, arrest all those who are working with the devil, all those evil spirits, all those demonic spirits, all those mermaid spirits, all those witchcraft spirits, make an arrestation unto all of them right now, chain them up and send them to the bottomless pit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madame Njema, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name, I'm working today specifically on epileptic patients and on children who are always having convulsions. Today is your day. Your hour has come. Your minute has come. Your seconds have come. You are free. Parents, begin to jubilate. Parents, begin to dance. Parents, begin to be merry. Your children have been freed today by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is blessing you today. The Lord is blessing you today. I said, come out of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and be arrested by angels of God. All of you are under arrest. 
I say you are under arrest. We shall not allow you to go out and begin to wander about and begin to seek for an opportunity to return to those that whose bodies out of them you've come out. I will not allow that. The angels will chain you and keep you to the bottomless pit right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not allow you to return to the bodies out of which you came in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, angelic hosts, move in your thousands, move in your hundreds, move in your millions, arrest all of them, chain them up, and send them back to where they belong. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all of you are free. I say all of you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed. And when the word of God comes unto you that you are free, you are free indeed. You are free in all aspects. Now, I reinstate your memory. Because when you are epileptic, your memory is lost. I ask the Lord Almighty to refresh your memory, to renew your memory, to take away the brain cells that were destroyed and put back new ones, that your memory should be refreshed, that your memory should be rekindled, so you'll be able to have a bright memory at school, to be able to succeed in internal and external examinations. Hallelujah. Lord, refresh the memory. Almighty God, refresh their brains. Renew their brains. For all of them who have lost brain cells, replace them with good ones. Operate from within their heads and take away those brain cells which are dead and put back new ones in the name of Jesus Christ. The brains of human beings are in the warehouse of God in heaven. Father Almighty, remove whole brains and renew them by putting new ones into the brains of the patients who suffered from epilepsy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I say I'm working on epileptic patients today in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, angels, take away the bad brains and put in new ones. They are in the shelves of the warehouse of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven where all spare parts of human beings are kept. Now they do not know how to ask. Me, I know how to ask. Refresh them with new brains in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you parents, you begin to see that when your children go to school, if they were scoring zero on a hundred, they will begin to score 70, 80 on a hundred in their external examinations and tests and mock and those of you who are in schools, you will see that those children who used to be called dollars will no longer be dollars. They will be bright children because the Lord Almighty has decreed that all of them who suffered from epilepsy, as from today, they will become brilliant students in their schools in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will converse no more. Epilepsy will not be their portion anymore. They will not be thrown into fires anymore. They will not be thrown into waters anymore. Those spirits have left them. You are free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord has set you free. The blood of Jesus has set you free. The mighty hand of Jesus has set you free. Hallelujah. Amen. Dear televiewers, dear children of God, today... It's a day which the Lord had reserved today only for those who are epileptic. But for many of you others, 
you are set free in Jesus' name. In whichever area the devil has been tormenting you, I'll be going off the air. Those of you in Mutengene, those of you in Tiko, in Dwala, in Bamenda, here is your prophet given unto you by God. Not a man made prophet, not a title given me by myself. The Lord Jesus Himself called me prophet and gave me the title prophet. So move and come to where CMTV is located. There you will find me in my church because the church and CMTV have the same location. And when you come here, you will see your prophet. Nightmares will be gone. Evil dreams will be gone. Many good things the Lord will reinstate unto you by the hand of the prophet, by the voice of the prophet, as it is given unto the Lord to give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to make this prayer with you right now because my time is soon running out. Let us pray. Father Almighty, we thank you for the message that you've given us this day. We exhort our brothers and our sisters out there to be able to know that the wrath of God shall be kindled unto humankind the years ahead, the months ahead, the days ahead, the hours ahead. That we should repent, Almighty God, from our sinful deeds, so that this wrath shall not be our portion. Father Almighty, we thank you for shutting all these demons in the pit of hell, in the Euphrates, that we live freely on the surface of the earth without us being hurt. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all these good things you've done for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. All of you say amen. All of you say amen. The grace of the Lord be upon you. The mercy of the Lord be upon you. The mercy of the Lord and all his power and his love and his kindness be upon us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. All of you say amen. And therefore, I have been your usual man, Prophet Johnson Wambo, blessing you this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Remain blessed.